Hello, teachers, parents, and educational leaders, and welcome to this episode of Breaking Down the Best. Now, during this episode, you will get a peek into the members-only area where I have tons of resources to help you make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. There should be a link somewhere around this video where you can learn more. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's get to it and let's break down the standard. Welcome to Breaking Down the Best, a video series dedicated to breaking down Florida's best standards for math. So grab something to write with and maybe even a snack. This looks good. And don't forget to put a smile on your face. There you go, I see you. And let's dive into today's best standard. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Sarah McCarthy, the creator of McCarthy Math Academy. And thank you so much for taking time out of your crazy busy schedule to join me on this episode of Breaking Down the Best, which today we are going to break down the following standard. Today we are breaking down MA.3.NSO.2.2 third grade number sense and operations 2.2. All right, this standard says to explore multiplication. Now, if you notice, I have a little diagram up here of steps. Okay, the exploration stage is like the first step into new content. And then we gradually go up the steps. So this would be procedural reliability and then procedural fluency would be that final step. But we are on the first step. And you know what? Students get really excited about multiplication and division. We're actually gonna see division two. Um, they get really excited. It's their probably their real first shot at multiplication and division, and they are so excited. So make sure that you create some memorable experiences here because you know, you and I know, multiplication, you always need it. It never, the importance of it never goes away. So explore multiplication of two whole numbers. And up here I put factor times factor equals the product just to get some vocabulary in there with products from zero to 144. Basically from zero times zero equals zero to 12 times 12 equals 144. This is different than before with the common core standards that we had in Florida because it only went up to a 10 by 10, which was a product of 100. So we are raising the bar for this standard. And you also need to know the related division facts. Right here, I made a note, show that relationship early, that multiplication and division are inverse operations. They're related, they're connected, they are super duper groovy. All right, so we need to make sure with multiplication that we have equal groups, arrays, area models, and equations. And we will make sure that we point out those in this uh, Breaking Down the Best episode today. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that jumped out at me. Okay, so where what is connected to this? There's actually a whole lot connected to this standard. I'm not even certain that these are the only benchmarks, but here's a few that really jump out. MA.3.NSO.2.3, that's multiplying by multiples of 10 or 100, huge for fourth grade. We've got MA.3.NSO.2.4, which is multiplying and dividing with procedural reliability. That is up here, step two. So we can see how this 2.2 connects into 2.4 later on. Um, we also, for 3.AR.2.1, we have division as a missing factor. 3.AR.2.2, multiplication and any division true, let me try that again. Multiplication and division true or false equations. And we have 3.GR.2.2, which is area, the formula, length times width. We're multiplying there. Another example is perimeter and area of composite figures, mostly with, I'm sorry, mostly with area there. Okay, some terms that you need to know. Area model. I've drawn an area model right up here. You can see that if we had 12 times 11, we could break that into 10 plus 2 for 12, 10 plus 1 for 11, and then 10 times 10 is 100, 10 times 2 is 20, 1 times 10 is 10, and 1 times 2 is 2, and then when you add all of those up, 
you get 132, which will give you that answer. So that is a way, using the area model, it's big in fourth grade and we do start it now in third grade. Um, you need to know about the commutative property of multiplication, which means that we flip flop those factors, right? Five times four is the same thing as four times five. That's the commutative property. For the dividend, that is the total amount that we are dividing. The divisor is what we are dividing. The divisor could be the number of groups or it could be the things in each group. We've got partitive and quotative division, fancy words that we'll break down a little bit later in the purpose and instructional strategies segment. Equation, that means that we have an equal sign. Expression means that we're doing something with numbers, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, but there is no equal sign present. Factors are what you're multiplying, factor times factor, and a rectangular array, like for two times three, would look like this, okay? Um, where are they, oh, I didn't do that, one second. Okay, so, sorry about that. All right, so 2.ar.3.2, they will have some exposure to repeated addition, which is a strategy for multiplication. So they're coming in with that knowledge, or they should be at least. And then in fourth grade, the requirement is that they can recall adding, not adding, multiplication and division at the level three with automaticity means that they can just spit them out. So the whole thing here, let's see what jumps out with the purpose and instructional strategies. Um, Basically, this is all saying to make it concrete for them. This is the exploration stage. You should be using manipulatives. You should be using visual models, having lots of discussions, estimating and drawing place value blocks, rectangular arrays, make it fun, make it concrete. There's so many different ways to represent multiplication and division. We mentioned repeated addition. All right, so for division, it says that students should see examples of sharing, which is called partitive division, and this is where the number of groups are given. But we also should have them see examples of measurement or quotative division, and this is where the number in each group is given. And I put over here so fancy because I learned something new. I didn't know what partitive and quotative division was. I knew the difference between knowing whether the divisor was the number of groups or the number in each group. Um, but I didn't know fancy words like that. Now I do. And then I also wrote down here, this is big, this is the start of our fact families, right? So just like as teachers, relationships matter. Relationships first. We need to make sure that we are always going through the relationships for multiplication and division, connecting them, showing that they are related. Uh, a big common misconception that students make I mean, an example here, and this is kind of what this is saying, is that three times four, if a student draws three in each group and makes four groups, they're actually not modeling this expression correctly because the three right there should stand for the number of groups. It should be three groups with four in each group. Now they're going to get to the same product because of that commutative property where we flip flop those factors, but we really need to to make sure that their drawings match their expressions. Some examples there that you can take a look at. I would like to show you some resources that you have when you go into your membership. So let's go into the Members Enter Here area. Taken on the best, although 155 does definitely have some extra practice in there. Third grade, NSO.2.2. Okay. So if you are a bronze, silver, or gold member, you do have access to these video lessons and the printable workbook pages here. So in the first video, we talk about what is multiplication. In the next video, it's about multiplication strategies, and then what is division, division strategies, and then multiplication and division as inverse operations. See, relationships first. You also have access to these printables right over here and you will be able to see that we are using manipulatives in these videos. We're drawing, we're also modeling with equations, with repeated addition and all of that. I'll show you the answer key in just a minute. Uh, but that's what you get with the bronze membership. Now, if you have silver or gold, you have access to the silver plan. 
And here for this one, you have two math misconception mystery videos. Those are where I dress up as four different characters. Three of those characters solve the problem incorrectly, making a common mistake that students tend to make. One of them has the most reasonable answer. It's awesome for math group discussions, for error analysis. It's super fun. I enjoy doing them. Um, you have more printables. So not only do you have the video lesson printable, you also have extra practice that goes with it. So after they finish, they can jump right into, there's like a video lesson with multiplication strategies and then for extra practice, pretty much the same thing we did in the video lesson, now they can practice on their own. Sorry, my video cut out, so I'm hoping I'm coming back in. <laughs> okay, um, again, video lesson, lots of extra practices. So now we're on extra practice seven, tons and tons of extra practice. Oh, here we can see like the division strategies the number of groups where the divisor is the number of groups and then they also have to create an example where the divisor is the number in each group and then equations to match those. Um, there we go. I'll show you some of the answer keys too that way you can see how much work is really going into these. This is the math mission where we're connecting multiplication and division. So here it says use the numbers to create a multiplication equation and a division equation. So they gotta plug it in here. Then create a word problem based on the multiplication equation. Then solve the problem. Now rewrite your word problem to describe the division equation that you've got, then, re then solve it. So here, this gives them lots of opportunities to be creative, but also to be able to show that they really have a firm understanding of what multiplication and division is. Okay, so then we have math misconception mystery. This is the, the, this is the detective report area. Find the product of 12 and six. Oh, make sure you are also really teaching product and quotient. That product is finding the answer when you multiply. Quotient is finding the answer when you divide. We do that a lot in the video lessons, but just pointing that out that that's where students tend to mess up. And I believe some of the characters do too detective report so you can say here after you watch them all the most reasonable answer belongs to character number whatever and why then you jot down the other characters what did they do that was correct what was their error and what do they need to know for next time there's two of them because we have multiplication and division so you can enjoy those silver resources there all right so you can hear it see here is the answer key and there's a lot of work going into these Okay, I'm going to show you what the math, We've got arrays, we have drawings, arrays, all kinds of things. We're talking about the dividend and the divisor and the quotient. We're doing all kinds of labeling in these video lessons. You can see here with 21 and 7, 21 divided by 7. Here's 7 groups and here's 7 in each group and how they look different talk about all of that. Um, what else can I point out? That's pretty good. Yep. If you have the silver, you can definitely access all that. All right. And then if you have the gold membership, you have access to the bronze, the silver, and your gold resources. Now with the gold, you do get a mini assessment. You get these ad free videos, like the one that you're watching right now. Let's take a look at the mini assessment. Okay. I think I was listening to Garth Brooks for this one. <laughs> I got friends. Better stop before I get fined. We got multiple choice. We have a multi-select. We have an explanation here. Good stuff. There's also the answer key. I'm not gonna pull that up right now, but if you have the gold, you can see that. And you do have access to McCarthy Math 155, which is aligned to the older standards, the Common Core standards. However, there are some standards, a bunch of standards actually, that trickle into what we're doing now. For instance, multiplication and division. You have 13 video lessons that model multiplication, the properties of multiplication, and close reading word problems. Then for division modeling division, multiplication and division as inverse operations, and close reading word problems. 15 video lessons. There's a ton more when you have the gold membership. 
division missing groups. Division missing things in each. Lots and lots of extra practice to make sure your students master it with the gold package, okay? All right, so that's it. But before we go, let me remind you that what you do with your life, what you wake up and you do with your life every day, it matters because you matter and because our students are the future and they matter. Now listen, I know that this, this profession, it can be super exhausting and super stressful, but what we are doing for the, our future, it really does matter. We have to believe that we are making a difference. We have to believe that somehow, some way, all the energy that we are pouring into these students is going to shape their journey, is going to shape the trajectory of their lives and hopefully help them to step into the great person that they were born to be. So I believe in you. I know it's tough, but I believe in you and I believe in your students and I'm here for you. That's why I do what I do. But I'd like to thank you for joining me today. I know you've got lots of stuff to do. So thanks for joining me today and I will see you soon. Okay, so I know that I just said goodbye for now, but I'm gonna ask you to do one more thing, okay? If you enjoyed this episode, please consider sharing it with your teacher friends or other leaders in education. That's how I get to continue doing what I love to do, which of course is supporting you all to the best <laughs> of my ability. All right, for real now, bye.